So this is my little Oxford heated grip setup as I've got it at home. Just as a demonstration for the whole um, how much amps does it take and does it actually cut off discussion. Uh, that one is set for 20 amps maximum. That's what the supply is giving out. So it's 10 volts now. Can I switch it on? We have some action there. You saw a couple of amps draw for a short while. Probably the system testing itself. And then it goes into energy saving mode. Which shows by the little green blinky button, um, little green blinky light, indicating there is a low voltage. So best not to do anything with that. At least not heat your grips with that. So I'll just leave that here, and I'll dial up the. Let's see where it goes out of. So there is a, up until 11.5, there we go, in 11.6 this thing starts drawing power. Hmm. So now it's on, lowest power, it's modulating. And you see what happens when it reaches 11. And 11.8 it'll start again. Three, it switches off. So that's what it's what it's doing. The amount of uh, amps it's using. See what happens when we go one up.
Okay. Or oh, that's self explanatory. So first of all, it's a modulating power control, and it'll cut off underneath 11 Hmm. Yeah. Underneath 11 it'll cut off. And it'll switch back on at 11.89 something. Yeah. Let's see if we can make this repeatable at a different setting. And 11.5 it cuts out. 11.8 it cuts in. There you go. 11.4, it switches off. Hmm. Good. Good to know. Uh, power usage of the module, hardly anything when it's switched off, even in its standby modus. Thank you for your attention, and I hope this is conclusive, for at least for this Oxford set. Haha. -ha. And no, I won't be selling this. If you want to figure this out on your own set, you get your own stuff.